here and we are about to watch the full body cam of George Floyd. Now, I'm going to keep it 100 with y'all. I have never seen anybody resist arrest like George Floyd did. He was begging for his life from the beginning to the end, y'all. Now, I'm not going to lie. He was making it very, very difficult for the police to arrest him. From the point that he was in the car, they had to pull out the gun. To the point of walking them across the street. I never seen somebody beg for their life so much. He was begging for his life before they even put him on the floor. He actually suggested he'll lay on the floor. They walked him to a second police car. George Floyd was refusing to be arrested, man. He kept quoting, I'm not a bad guy. I'm not that type of guy. I'm not going to be able to breathe. And he's saying he wasn't going to be able to breathe. You could obviously see he was high on something. Also, those police, they didn't start off aggressive. But once George Floyd really started resisting arrest, you could tell they grew frustrated. And once he mentioned he had COVID, they really got frustrated. But I'm going to, I got to call it the way I see it. George Floyd, he panicked man i never seen somebody panicking during arrest but it may be because a he was guilty of kept the counterfeit thing b he had drugs on him or c he was just really really inebriated but i'm telling you right now it's like 16 minutes plus eight minutes worth of body cam footage that shows george floyd was not consenting to the arrest and that's for a lack of a better term we also get to see the girl. i never knew george floyd got shot before the woman the co-defendant that they didn't even arrest she said he was acting the way he was acting because he got shot before but as you saw videos on youtube they showed george floyd trying to allegedly get rid of some contraband but you could tell he's inebriated. You could tell he's panicking. And he's a big guy. So you got to keep it 100 and call a spade a spade, man. These guys, they was doing the best they can. Derek Chauvin, he still overdid it. Yep, but I know what he was trying to do. He was trying to knock George Floyd out unconsciously. He had to be. Because George Floyd was not trying to get in that squad car. Literally, they could not get him in the squad car. Look, this is him resisting arrest as soon as they pulled him out of his car. Once they got him to the squad car, he starts saying he's not this type of guy. He's not going to be able to breathe. He got COVID, this, that, and the third. This is all resisting arrest. Yep, all resisting arrest. And I didn't even understand it. You know what I mean? And I'm like, they got to say it, man. If you can't do the time, don't do the crime. And George Floyd, he was admitting he could not do the time. Check this out. With that being said, what you heard and saw was the content. For additional content, click the link in the description. Like, follow, share, subscribe, comment. Hit the bell, visit my community wall, and if you have time, go to www.amore-eka.com backslash TV. That's our Planet of Face 2. We are the new umbrella. Planet up.